Hello YouTube. Um, I know I said I'd be right back to decorate the box, but I ended up doing it off camera um, just because I didn't really know where I was going with it. So it was a lot of just sitting here staring at it and thinking and um, so I ended up just finishing it up off camera. And so basically I'm here now to show you the finished product. So the dies that I used are from Diamond Dies. And if you use coupon code Carrie's Friend, you'll get 10% off and free shipping. And this applies to any of the dies on their site, including the um, Halloween one that they have out right now that's on sale. Um, so definitely go buy some of their dies because they're awesome. So let's get to this. All right. So we were making a Prima envelope um, style matchbox accented with diamond dies. That would be a good explanation, I guess. And here it is. So for this one, um, we got as far as on video as covering the box with the paper and then I was going to use the um, Monarch Butterflies large and small from Diamond Dies to decorate them and the dies aren't in here right now because they're right here on my desk. Uh, okay, come on. And that's what they look like. You get two. Um, and if you like this, don't forget I have one of the small monarch butterflies that I'm giving away in a giveaway. Check out the details on the giveaway video. So, this is what I created. And um, I know this is kind of a simple project, but I just wanted to show you that you don't have to... Um, Sorry, I'm trying to grab something here. You don't have to take the dies and layer them like this and use them just this way. So that's kind of the point of the outside of the box on this is showing you you can use the single layers as well, which is what I did. This is the overlay. And all I did is I just used this part of the large monarch butterfly, cut it in my paper, and then all I glued down was the center of it, that basically it's body and it's antennas. And then I lined the body and it's tail with some purple bling. There we go. And so this allows the wings to kind of be 3D on there. Or you can lay it flat, like if you need to. Then up here, I used the um, small monarch butterfly its back piece and I just cut it out of the paper and I attached it using my ATG and a little bit of um, Zig 2 a glue pen so this is really good for attaching these because you can get all the little pieces so I just attached that down and then I used um, which kind of messed up in a couple places, but I used this enamel accents in black from Ink Essentials, Ranger, whatever. So, and it's just um, dimensional faux, faux enamel. And I just put little dots all around the outside. As you can see, like right here, they kind of ran together a little bit. And that one smeared because there was air in my thing, so it kind of went poof. And it shot it across a little bit, but not a big deal. And then I did up the antennas. Just kind of put dots all around it to give it a little bit of texture, I guess. And then you saw me fussy cut this out of a piece of the Prima Printery Collection. And so then I just attached that with the ATG gun. And then down here, this is one, two, three, 
I cut the um, back layer of the small monarch butterfly four times and then the, the top layer once and I glued the top layer to one of the backs but then the rest of the backs like there's one that's glued to the box and then two that are just in here and I was just trying to make it look a little different have some dimension the only thing I'd probably do differently um, and I only attach them on the body of the butterfly and then I put bling on that one's body which they're a little crooked there we go um, the only thing I might do differently if I um, well I shouldn't say if I do this again because I will do this again because I really liked that one little bling just wants to move around there Um, I probably will do this again because I really love the way that looks like that. I just find it to be really cool looking. Um, but what I think I'll do is do a top overlay for every one of them. And I think it might make it look like a butterfly in flight and its wings are moving as you see the movement, you know. So there's that one. And then this opens up. And the inside doesn't exactly match the outside, but um, I just I was just gonna leave it empty and have it be like a treat box, and then this would be the project. Like this would be the design team project would be showing the butterflies. But then I got a little wonky wonky, and I got trying some stuff out, and I actually now wish I hadn't done this in purples, pinkish purples, lavender, whatever color this is, because I know my oldest son would love this with the way I did the inside. But it's a little too girly. So you open it up, and I use some of the seam binding that Dee had sent us in our first design team package. And you pull, and pull out the tray, and I made what looks like a butterfly specimen frame. So, I made the large monarch butterfly and I made it to mimic an actual monarch butterfly, which I googled to see exactly how they looked, exact colors and everything. And that's why you'll notice all those white dots all around the outside, is because that's the way monarch butterflies are. And I just used the same enamel accents, but I used it in white. The black and white come in a package together. Um, so, um, I cut the, the bottom layer is cut in an orange cardstock, and then the overlay is cut in black cardstock, and then I attach them, put all the little white dots all around it, set it and let it dry. Um, and then inside the box, I used, hold on, uh, just this foam. Nothing, nothing special. I got it in a kid's craft project thing. And um, it's just probably, what, an eighth of an inch or so thick. Um, and so there's two layers in there. I did it. A layer of brown underneath the white. I just picked a color, the brown I don't use much of, so I just used it underneath since it's not going to be seen. Um, so then I, I adhered them in with just regular ATG tape and I just cut them to size which was basically cutting it a sixteenth of an inch so it's like um, three and 15 sixteenths of an inch by four and 15 sixteenths of an inch. So I just did it a sixteenth of an inch shorter for the dimensions. Put it in there, glued it in. And then this butterfly is actually, it's loose. The little pins in the top corners are actually holding it in just like it would be in a specimen frame or thing. I lined the outsides with some craft card stock because most of them were in wooden like when I googled to see what they looked like on Facebook or on yeah on Facebook on YouTube 
most of them had wood frames, so I just kind of, I was going to bring the wood in, the wood, the brown in around the outside here, but it would have made it too, like the butterfly is only maybe not quite a quarter of an inch from each edge, so I thought it would have been too confined, so I just did it on the sides like that. And then I looked up um, specimen labels, and this probably isn't exactly, but I just noticed like some of them, they'd have like what they're called, if they were male or female, their um, technical name, I can't remember exa what that exact word for those names are called. And then the date it was collected and where. So I did Monarch Butterfly, and when I looked at pictures of the butterflies, this one looked more like the female than the male, so I just said it was a female. That's its technical name. This is today's date, and Oberkyle, Germany is where I live, and that's where this specimen was collected. I'm doing the little quotes, collected, because that's where he was made, or she, she in Oberkyle, Germany. So, that is my design team project for diamond dyes. I completely love how it turned out. Like I say, I just wish I'd have done it in a little bit more boyish colors because I could have gave it to my son. Here, let's close that. There. So that's what I did. This is a envelope style matchbox. It's three inches by four inches. And I used Prima paper and diamond dyes dyes to decorate and make it into something really neat. And you could technically still use this as a little treat box because you could still put some treats in here, slip it in there and give it to someone and then they have a cute little box to keep after they eat the treats. And I mean, you, you don't have to do like specimens. You could do anything. You could like, you could take the fern leaf and you could make a little Christmas tree in here and then put like maybe even glue a couple treats at the very bottom so they look like they're presents under the tree, which is a really cute idea. And I might have to do that now. But, so yeah, you could do all different things on the inside and on the outside. You can decorate them any way you want. But I would highly recommend Diamond Dyes Dyes to help you decorate them. Because they're spectacular. So that is my second design team project for Diamond Dyes. And I need to get working on a third. We're required two to three a month. And I'd like to do three each time. I might not get three in this month. Um... It's going to depend on what I can get done today, but um, our months don't go from beginning of the month to the end of the month either. They're kind of mid-month instead. But that is what I made. Okay, just a minute, baby. So, let me show you this one more time. Whoops. And my son's yelling for my help. So... If you'd like to get some really neat new dyes, check out diamonddyes.com. Use coupon code Carrie's Friend and you'll get 10% off plus free shipping. So thank you all for watching. And, oops, <laughs> sorry I hit my light as I was bringing my hand back. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.